Okay, welcome to Tef's Travails everyone. Today's little task is to install this stove gasket onto that tent. So I've got a little wood burning stove that goes inside the tent and today we're going to be doing everything we need to install that gasket. Things you'll need are part of the chimney for reference, scissors, a sharp knife, doesn't have to say National Coal Board on it, but in this case it does. And a nice bit, a little bit of my collection here. Uh, it's a good knife, very sharp. Uh, just make sure it doesn't walk out on you for the best part of the year. And you'll need some tools to tighten up the bolts. Let's get amongst it. Okay, so what I've done now, come inside the tent and on the inside of the canvas, uh, just mark out around the inside of the uh, steel gasket here and also mark up the uh, where the holes will be for the bolts. And then all you simply do is uh, using that sharp knife and make an initial cut here and then use some good scissors to cut round here. And then we will, I think we use a drill to make a hole for each of one of these uh, bolt holes or perhaps we use a sharp knife again. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've uh, cut out the circle uh, for the uh, gasket and I did actually manage to drill these um, and it's made quite a nice hole. Um, all you've got to do is put one hand, uh, thumb of the forefinger on, on the edge here to pull it taut and then the drill does actually go through and make quite a nice hole. Now obviously the fire and the chimney is not always going to be in place because sometimes we use this in the summer. Uh, so you've got to have something to blank out the hole when it's not in use. Uh, so I just happen to have this huge great roll of what I can only describe as sort of construction underlay. Um, it's, it, it's, uh, oh, it, it seems to be like nylon with rubber around it. Uh, so that will that will do very well. So we'll cut that to size and use that as a, a cover. Okay, so I've uh, trimmed the gasket to size, and that's the little bit of waste that came off it. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's not a hugely tight fit in my opinion but you know you can't see any light through there around that gap um, and also the chimney will get hot in service so it'll expand and maybe fill it and also if any water does get down there it, it's gonna be so hot it's gonna be vaporized anyway so I think it'll be okay um, and in any case that tent's got loads of holes in it anyway um, also made up a blanking plate here don't do what I did first time and uh, mark out the inside and then be tempted to cut around there because it'll be wasted uh, cut around the outside edge this one here and then once again just use a drill to put some holes in this um, special plastic okay so to install this i've had to drop the tent down uh taking off those uh, those two side poles those two are still in place um just to reduce the height a bit to get access to this um this is not quite as easy as it looks uh so you've got to install the uh, the other steel ring on the outside poke uh, poke the uh, bolts through with a washer on one side and then come come in and line up the gasket and then put on the other ring and try and keep it all together whilst poking these bolts through these holes it is not that easy but a bit of perseverance will get there okay so there we go that's the uh, chimney uh, installed through the gasket I haven't put all of the bolts through the, uh, the gasket as you'll notice because I'm not actually going to fire it up today. It's about 20 degrees here in Sussex, uh, so I'm not going to have a fire inside an already hot tent. Um, we'll do that in some other video. Uh, and also I've got to install the blanking plate uh, on there so we don't get wet inside. But that's pretty much how it goes, guys. It's uh, relatively straightforward apart from putting those bolts through. Uh, when you come to install the gasket and I recommend having someone else available on the outside to help you Yeah, just to just to finish off this one off guys. Here's the blanking plate installed from the outside That's pretty taut as you can hear um, So that's not going to let in any water Just have a look at it from the inside And it's pretty low profile there. All you've got to stick it out is these little bits of bolts and uh, that won't stop it being folded up And as you can see no light coming in from around the edge there um, so I, I think that's a pretty good job done. Uh, tune in again and we'll put on the uh, put on the chimney, light the fire, see how that goes. 
I think actually, in hindsight, I might make a modification to this. I might put swap these out for wing nuts because this was definitely a two-man job to install them. I had somebody else on the outside holding the spanner whilst I used the, the ratchet uh, to tighten these lock nuts up because it is very difficult otherwise. Uh, apart from that, guys, uh, stay tuned.